Well hello and uh, welcome to another bit of a tutorial video. Um, everyone's still on lockdown in the country. Uh, we can't go out and it's getting a little bit more stricter as well. So I'm uh, tied to me desk at the moment. Um, remember I did a uh, focus stacking video for you um, previously. Um, and I said, I was saying this in the video, if you'd like to listen. The problem we've got is with it is, like I say, this man here has been messed up. And if you zoom right in, the guy at the back there, he's now got two boats and instead of one. So what we would do, oh, I've moved the image. So what we would do is we would actually overlay one of the other images and fix this in uh, Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you that on another video. So I'm gonna keep this actual image, I'll keep this Photoshop set up and I'll show you exactly how we would then repair this guy here, get rid of that. And I've also got, if I go back to Lightroom, I've got another picture here with the boat right in the middle. So we'll get rid of the boat at the back and we'll put the boat in the middle, the bloat running and everything sharp. So I'll show you how to do that in another video. So, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video. As in true Compton style, it's gonna be very simple. Um, I'm not gonna try and be clever. I'm not gonna try and uh, baffle you of any ball. It's uh, as simple as what I do. Right, so we are back in Lightroom. This is what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna be working with these red images down the bottom here and this extra one there. I'm gonna show you the images first. Uh, this is the guy um, that we did, the focus stacking one on. Uh, if, if you want to watch the video, it's up in the top corner for you to watch that one. Uh, and basically we focus stacked to make sure everything from the foreground to the background one was in focus. Um, we had a issue because this guy, let's go back in, this guy down here was obviously half painted out and we also had a bit of a mess at the back there where the two boats overlapped. We've also got another image, uh, this one here, and it's got this lovely dude down here with a canoe on it. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to put him with his mate. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and show you how to do this. So let's go back into grid. We have got the one image that we need to repair. We've also got the extra image with the guy that's really uh, nice and sharp and clear. And we've also got the th third image with the guy with a canoe. So we're gonna highlight those three images, the one to repair, the one that we need to repair it, and also the guy um, on the canoe. We are then gonna right click on any three of them. We are gonna edit in layers and open those three up in layers in Photoshop. And while that's opening up, I'm gonna get a drop of water. Don't forget, keep hydrated while we're off. It's quite easy to drink loads of coffee and no water. Let's see, my computer's a little bit slow and uh, it has a a bit of a moment to keep crashing as well. Here we go. Right, so we've got three images down here in the bottom corner now. One, two, and three. And uh, you can see the image at the top is the um, one that needs repairing. We can toggle that one on and off. And you can see the image underneath this one. This is the one we're gonna use to repair. So I'm gonna put that on the top and I'll switch that one back on. And then underneath those two, we switch those two off, you've got the guy with a canoe. And I'm gonna put that one right on the top and toggle the other two back on. So this is the guy with the canoe, so we can turn that off for now. This layer is the guy with the uh, repair, which we need to do. And the last one is the one to be repaired. So we're gonna click on the one that needs repairing and we're gonna open a layer mask, but we are gonna click on Alt and hold the layer mask. What this will do is give you a black layer mask and only show everything that I want to be shown. I've got to paint it back in. So we've got a black layer mask. We've now got to make sure we've got a white brush. So we're going to click on brush. We are going to have a soft brush. So we're going to bring the hardness right the way down and have a nice soft brush. And we're going to make the brush a little bit bigger, maybe about 300 for this image. Get up there, about 300. That'd be plenty big enough for this image. If I zoom in now, you'll see the guy here and I'm going to paint on the layer make sure that you've got the layer highlighted and that's one we want to work with I'm going to use 100% flow and 100% opacity which are those two and I'm literally just going to paint this guy back on ah I've just noticed something right I made a mistake so I'm just going to delete this layer I'm just going to go back to there you'll see let me just go back in I can show you what I was doing let me just show you what I did to make a mistake. If you look at 
this guy's legs now. He's half and half overlapped. Let's just go back to a white brush. I'm just gonna paint this in. You see how, as I paint this guy, he seems to be moving from side to side. That's because the layers aren't aligned. Remember I said to you about aligning the layers before? Apply layer mask removal, no, delete. We just want to delete the layer mask. So we've now got our dude and there. So we're gonna take all these three images and just make sure that they're all, all highlighted. And this time I'm just gonna align the images, which I should have done that in the first place. Auto, click okay and align. Hey dear. I told you I wasn't brilliant at this Photoshop laugh or at least explaining it anyway but I'm sure it'll give you something to laugh about later on. Right, come on, hurry up and layer. It's doing what it's doing. Wouldn't it be nice to have a nice fast computer that I can just work on at full speed without having to wait for it. But we're done, we're all aligned. Right, so let's go back again. Switch this layer on. We're gonna click Alt and hold the Alt down and click the layer mask. It's gonna give us a black layer. We're going to zoom in so you can see what we're doing. The brush is already on, but we'll just go back over that for you. Make sure you've got a soft brush, hardness all the way down, and we're using about 300 pixels. There's your brush. So we're going to click on here. We're going to make sure that the layer mask is uh, highlighted. And now we can just paint on with a white brush. We need to make sure that the swatch down here, sorry about that. We need to make sure that the swatch down there is on white on the top layer. If you click X, it will toggle between the two. So we can have a white layer for fixing and a one a black layer to repair it and put it back together. So we need a white brush. And I know I'm waffling on a little bit. White brush, we're just gonna paint over the guy there. Make sure he's all painted back in. And then when we go back out, which is control zero, it's gonna give you the full image. And you can see now this guy's painted in. We can toggle this on and off. And you can see that this guy's painted in but it's not affecting the bottom of this image at all now. So all we've got is this guy here painted in nicely and fixed. The next thing we need to do is fix these guys at the back here. So if we toggle this layer back on and off, this layer you'll see puts the bloke back in and also gets rid of the guys at the background because this is when he was up there and I took the photographs before. This is now when he's down here and they're gone. So we need to do the same again. We are going to click, make sure this layer is highlighted. We are going to hold over the um, layer mask. We are going to press Alt on the keyboard and we are going to put another layer. This is going to be another dark layer. So it's only showing through. It's going to show nothing through. It's, it's blocking the layer at the moment. And we are going to paint the previous layer back in afterwards. Again, white brush. Brush is highlight is already on. Got white brush. We'll zoom in so we can see what we could do. And we're going to make sure we're again on the layer mask and we are gonna start painting where the bloke is. And we know the bloke's in the middle of the water there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint him in and just try and make sure we don't go too crazy on the edges because we need to make sure this is the focused part of the image. And if we start painting back over an unfocused part, we'll lose all the sharpness here. So we're gonna keep moving around there because we know there's some ripples in the water we wanna keep. And I'll just make my brush a little bit smaller. And that's the closed brackets, that's the, the, the bracket down. And that's just going to paint it around the edge of the water just to bring some of them ripples back in and around that way. And now as I'm getting to the back of the image, I'm just going to soften my brush. So I'm going to make sure the brush goes down to 50% opacity. And I'm just going to just blend that in at the back there and just do a few brush strokes just to get the ripples back in the water. So now we've got the ripples back in the water. Let's go back out, control zero. Now you can see this bloke here, he's with his mate, he's running and I'm canoeing along underneath. So that's looking pretty good. But we've still got this horrible mess at the background. So while we're on this same layer mask, we're gonna zoom into the background, get it in position. So by doing getting it in position, I press the space bar and then I can move the image around. Right, we are gonna to go to a smaller brush now. So we come down here, we're gonna bring it down to a smaller brush, maybe even smaller still. And we only wanna work on this part of the image. So now we're gonna paint over this. Because we know underneath there, let's bring the opacity back up to 100. Because we know that underneath there, there's nothing there. We can toggle that on and off, you can see. I'll we'll toggle that one off as well. And we're gonna just gonna paint over these guys and get rid of them. And we're also gonna get rid of their wash because we don't want the wash up there as well. And we're gonna paint over the wash in the background. 
because you don't want any of that wash. And again, to blend it back in nice and seamlessly, we're going to just bring it down to 50%. And we're just going to do 50% around the outside just to blend it all in a little bit. And what I don't want to do, you see down here, I don't want to lose this shadow. So if I've painted over there by mistake, I'm just going to press X and it's going to change my paintbrush back to a black and I can then paint back in the black bits and try and bring back some of this shadow reflection that's at the top there. And of course you can see that little bit of an ore, so we're going to paint that back out and just... So we're just going to blend that back in with a reflection and just make sure everything's quite nice and uh, keeping as much as this shadow and reflection as we can. So if we scroll back out or click control zero, it's going to bring us back and you'll see back there we've got uh, a repaired image now. There's a slight lightness to this image there. So I'm just going to send the brush over it just to see if I can get a little bit more back in this area. So we're going to get rid of this, this guy here, and we're just going to brush back in some of the darker water. That doesn't look too bad at all. So, one image. We've got a nice canoe. Let's go back to this. We've got a nice canoe. We've got a nice runner. Nice and clean image. All focusing, all sharpening focus. The only problem we've got is this little line down here. So I think what we'll do now, we'll go into the crop tool and we're going to make sure that we've got the 6x4 cropped. And we're just going to just bring in the edge of the image slightly just to make sure that all the edges of the frame where we've aligned it are all inside that front inside that framing crop it down there's our final image you can see our layer mask one there one there three images together and we're just going to click close and say yes for okay and what this will do is we'll take it back to lightroom and in lightroom you'll have a new image appear down here new image is appearing there's our new image double click on that bring the image up and there's your final image you can then go into develop and you can start playing with uh, your develop settings if you want to increase your shadows or decrease your shadows or if you want to bring your highlights down or up so you can bring your highlights down bring your shadows up a little bit of black some contrast and there you go you can work on it as much as you like but there's your final image i hope that was um explanatory no i hope that was okay and wasn't too confusing for you it was just basically bringing in your images in separate layers and putting a layer mask over and blending back in the part of the image that you want so there's our final image all fixed i hope you enjoyed this little vlog um i'm getting bored at home i've only been home for two days and i'm absolutely pulling my hair out with things to do but i'm back at work in the morning so uh, this is sunday by the way i'm back in work so i'm a key worker so till next time and the next video that i put out for you which will be a bit more explaining on um post processing probably uh until then <laughs> thanks for watching please again like and subscribe somewhere down there there's a notification bell hit the notification bell and you'll see some more videos from us if you are bored and you're stuck at home check out some of my old videos i'd love you to see some of the old videos i know i've got a lot of newer subscribers check them out and comment on the old videos and maybe share a few and get a few other people watching some of the videos i'm sure people are, are pulling their hair out and walking up and down the corridor trying to find something to do and for something to watch so yeah share a few videos and get other people on the channel and get them having a look so yeah till next time ciao for now stay safe and drink plenty of water